Picture this, a room where books are strewn across the floor, papers are flying and not a single thing is in its rightful place. This, my friends, is the epitome of chaotic. Chaotic, an adjective, synonymous with disordered, disorganized. It's the polar opposite of orderly, where everything has its designated spot and purpose. Take, for example, the sentence, the circumstances in the economy are chaotic. Here, chaotic describes a disordered, unpredictable economic scenario. So next time you stumble upon a messy room or an unpredictable situation, you've got the perfect word to describe it, chaotic. Remember, language is a tool, wield it wisely. Until our next word adventure, stay curious and keep learning. In the world of sports, triumph and devastation walk hand in hand. Picture the athlete who has trained for years, only to see their dreams shatter in a moment. A missed goal, a dropped catch, a stumble at the finish line, the power to devastate is profound. Yet, this devastation, shocking and stunning as it may be, is not the end. It is often the catalyst for a comeback that enriches the athlete's journey, molding them into a stronger competitor. So, the next time you witness a moment of devastation, remember, it may just be the beginning of an inspiring comeback story. This is the paradox that makes sports so captivating. In the grand arena of life, we often find ourselves shackled by constraint. Imagine the tension of a tightly wound spring, the uneasiness of a bird in a cage, the embarrassment of a dancer with two left feet. This, my friends, is the essence of constraint. Yet it's not always a villain. Constraints can also be the catalysts for creativity, the birthplace of innovation, and the driving force behind our greatest triumphs. Consider the athlete who trains under extreme conditions, the artist who paints with a limited palette, the scientist who makes groundbreaking discoveries within the confines of their laboratory. So, the next time you encounter a constraint, don't see it as a roadblock, but as an opportunity. An opportunity to push your boundaries, to expand your horizons, to truly grow. Embrace constraint, for it is through constraint that we find our freedom. Until next time, remember, the sky isn't the limit, your mind is. Steady, a word with a simple meaning, yet so profound. Often associated with balance and firmness, it's the opposite of being unstable. Picture this, you're holding a camera, the lighter it is, the harder it becomes to hold steady. Isn't it intriguing? Steady is not just about being stationary, it's about maintaining equilibrium, staying resilient in the face of adversity. In sports, a steady hand can make all the difference between victory and defeat. In life, a steady mind can keep us grounded during turbulent times. So next time you come across the word steady, remember, it's not just an adjective, it's a state of being. It's about finding balance, being firm, and staying resilient. Steady on. Picture this, you're on the field, the ball is at your feet and the goalpost is in sight. Time seems to slow down. This is the moment of deliberation. You take a breath, silence the crowd in your mind, and plan your next move with care. Deliberation, the act of being cautious, of slowing down, of not rushing into decisions. It's the opposite of haste, of hurried actions. It's the pause before the leap, the thought before the word, the strategy before the play. Just as a chess player studies the board, or a batter awaits the perfect pitch, deliberation is key in sports and life, it's the careful placement of the glass on the table, not a hasty toss. Remember, the game isn't always won by the fastest, but often by the most deliberate. So before your next big move, take a moment, breathe, deliberate, because the power of deliberation can turn the tide of any game.